Hello and welcome back to Collection Log Completionist, the series where I attempt to fill in a lot of slots in the collection log. In this video, I get a collection log slot that I wasn't sure I was ever going to be able to and I am very proud of, so I hope you all enjoy. Starting things off this time, I have spent a significant amount of our cash stack on an upgrade that's probably long overdue, the Eldritch Nightmare Staff. So let's go ahead and throw the orb in there. This bad boy right here is insanely good. Its special attack is very high hitting, and it also restores prayer, like a very high amount of prayer. It's like an SGS on steroids, except it doesn't heal your HP. And the reason I really wanted to buy this right now is because I've been wanting to try out Criara with the Shadow. I've heard it's insanely good. Criara is one of my most disliked bosses of all time because the chinning method is just dreadful. The boss absolutely shreds you, and I just find it to be pretty boring. So maybe with the Shadow it'll be more fun. Let's give it a go. I'm also going to be using the Private Instance just in case I manage to actually get a combat achievement. There is one for getting 30 kills in one trip and another one for never getting meleeed which should be every single kill that I do so we'll see okay that was a super scuffed first kill because I have not done uh Kriar in a long time but look at that swoop no more combat achievement done easy game that one is for taking no melee damage during the kill by the way extremely easy with this method because you just freeze the melee minion and then you kind of just stand in the corner and attack Kriar and then when the melee minion gets unfrozen well you freeze him again. I'm also just now realizing I forgot Bones to Peaches. That would have been so helpful. But, you know, it's the first trip trying this method. I expected it to be insanely scuffed. Yeah, okay. I don't know if I'm just doing something wrong, but Kriara is hitting me so hard. It is not even remotely funny. Like, genuinely, every single kill within 20 seconds of it starting, I am at, like, 10 HP. I just watched the video of somebody doing this, and they were just standing there. They did this boss for 50 minutes straight and barely ever had to brew, but I'm having to brew every single kill, so I must just be bad at this game or something. I have no other explanation. Oh, wait, no, I'm just dumb. This dude was on task, so he was killing Kriara much faster and had a Slayer Helm on instead of Ancestral. Oh, I might just have to do this boss on task. So I guess I'll head to Duradel and unlock Aviancy tasks. And in the future, once we uh, stop doing Wildy Slayer for Rev tasks, and we go back to Duradel and Konar and such, we will actually be doing Kriara. Because it was much more fun with the Shadow. I did manage a, what is that, 7 kill trip. Even though I was getting absolutely dumpstered every single kill. And I forgot Bones to Peaches. But, you know, it was decently fun. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, after all the Wildy content we've done in the past month or two, just going for the rev drops and such, I have gotten completely burned out of going for rev tasks. I still enjoy doing the Wildy bosses, but at this point, I just don't want to hunt for tasks and such anymore. So I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be painful, but I am going to completely unblock my block list, and we're gonna be heading back to Konar. I don't know why I came to Duradel to do this. My brain told me he's the closest Slayer Master. So we're gonna be doing Konar Slayer again for Brimstone Keys and also box tasks. This is gonna hurt so much. How many block slots is this? Six? This is 600 Slayer points. We're gonna to have to respend to get our block list back into shape, but that's okay. We have 3,700 Slayer points right now, so it's not really that big of a deal. Oh yes, our first Brimstone Key in so many months. It feels good to get these things again. Again, and uh, maybe we'll be able to get ourselves a piece of Dusk Mystic in the near future. Oh, this is something I miss so much about doing actual Slayer Masters. There's Gargoyles in the Slayer Tower. Now, it might be my least favorite boss in the entire game, but, and this is a big but, we could get a pet from them, and we are at, what is it, just about 1,200 kill count here. So that'd be pretty cool if we managed to pull off the pet. Uh, it is also one of the best looking pets in the game, according to most people, let's be honest. So it's been a long time since I've been to Grotesques. I can't remember if I've tried them out since Masori came out, but Masori will definitely make the uh, orb skipping more consistent. Plus Venator Bow. I do remember I tried Venator Bow out here, and it is very good if you can get them in the right position to where it bounces between them. And uh, I'm sure Masori will just make that better. Plus we have the Ultor Ring and Full Torvo. We don't have the Torvo Full Helm, but since I'm on Slayer Task, it does not matter. So I'm pretty much best in slot gear all around. It's going to be amazing. Also, I brought Thrall, so I know I might miss out on a little bit of money from the Alkables, but honestly, I'd rather get more kills per hour. Okay, I did 17 kills at Grotesque Guardian. I don't know what that is. It's a glitch. Don't worry about that in the chat box. I did 17 kills at Grotesques. I think that meets my yearly quota. Time to skip this task. Do you think you're funny, Konar? You're absolutely hilarious. All right, new deal. New deal is coming out. Uh, basically, every time I get a Gargoyles task, I will do 10 kills at the Grotesque Guardians. Okay, that's my deal. 10 kills per task and no more and no less because I, I want the pet. 
but I don't want to work for the pet. Okay, there's my one trip slash ten kills. All right, be proud of me. I actually endured through it. This is probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Ah, uh, nothing feels better than hitting a 100 task milestone and getting 500 Slayer points. That actually pretty much affords me my entire block list. Also, this is the third Skeletal Wyvern task I've gotten in a row. I, I don't mean like I did some skips and got it again. No, I mean, I got it, and then she gave me the back-to-back, -back, and now she's giving me the back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. Like, I don't... I can't say no, because it takes like two minutes, and it's Slayer Boyd, so okay. Oh, man. First Superior of the Konar grind. We get a missed battle staff. How heartbreaking. We still need the Eternal Gem on this account for the collection log, so hopefully we can get that one soon. But, you know, it is what it is. We're only at a 42 million Slayer XP, so I'll see you at 100 mil, then we might have it. Oh, shoot, I did not even know Konar could give this task. 208 aviancies in the God Wars dungeon. Alright, we've got our first Kriara task. I really thought we were going to have to go to Duradel for this, so, uh, this is a pleasant surprise, and I do have a good amount of ecumenical key shards dust, whatever from next, so we'll be able to just run straight in without wasting kills on our task. So I'm trying out a new method at Cree where you can actually walk under two minions and they won't be able to hit you. And second kill of the trip, we get a long bone. Also, it's going horribly. I've already almost chugged through two brews. I am a complete noob and I'm getting shredded at this boss. I, I have so much to learn. Okay, well I was going to say I finally had a kill where I didn't have to use any food at all. And we also got a shield left half from Kriara, which is... That's nice. That's lovely, actually. What a beautiful drop. Anyways, let's show the special attack of this Eldritch in action. Let's hit a big hit. Yeah, we're going from 61 prayer points up to 83. Oh, that was so juicy. It can also overheal your prayer. So, like, if I hit really big there, it could have gone above 99. So, it's a really nice staff. I'm really glad I got it. Uh, I'm also really glad I got the shield left half, because now our shield left half collection is getting bigger. Wow, two hard clues. Okay, the other one despawned. I swear there was a hard clue here from one of the minions, and then I got another one. There were two on the ground, but unfortunately I can't pick them up. I'm trying to keep as much food in my inventory as possible. And if my math is correct, there it is. Grandmaster Combat Achievement, Feather Hunter. That is a 30-kill trip at Kriara. Very, very nice. So... I have some thoughts on this method. It's actually really good. Those kills where I was staying at the start that I took like a ton of damage from, I was just getting super unlucky. I have not had that many kills like that since. Uh, so this method is definitely viable. I was thinking maybe it was viable off task, but because of the amount of damage you take, I don't really know if it is. Maybe if I get an alt account and I come in here with that, the uh, off task meta might be a little more viable, but we'll see in the future. As for now, I'm actually very excited to do my Kree tasks. We're at 469 kills. We still have 88 kills left on task, and I actually don't think I'm going to finish the entire task here. One, because I'm just not sure I have the supplies to, and two, because I have a couple other combat achievements to get at Kree R, and I think it's probably better if we do them on task. It'll just be easier. Wait, what? Wait, that's from a minion. We just got that from a minion. Armadil chain skirt, 29.4 mil. Oh my god. That was from the minion. I I like I saw something appear out of the corner of my eye and I was like, I have no idea who this man is. I've never met him in my entire life. But that's because it was from a minion. I'm so shocked, dude. What the heck? We're only at 470 kill count. We have the whole armor log done before, uh, as well as, uh, no, sorry. The whole armor log done except for the pet. I know how to speak. I'm just in shock. What? Why did we get a chain skirt? We don't deserve this at all. I, I what? Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait. What? What? That one's from the boss. That one's from the boss. That was back to back. One off the minion, one off the boss. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, well listen, I was having a rough day before this, and Jagex clearly just said, we got you, homie. I'm actually gonna drop the shield left half. I'm sorry if any of you feel betrayed at that, but I don't think I need it anymore. I think I'll be okay. I just killed Kriara in five shots. I, I promise I am not over-exaggerating when I say I hit Kriara with a shadow five times. And he was dead. What? <laughs> don't worry, guys. This weapon's fine. It's okay. Don't you worry about it. It's totally good. For real, though, if you don't have a shadow, you just, yeah, I, you know, I hope you will find one one day so you can know what it feels like to five-shot Kriara. All right, well, there's the end of the Kriara trip. It was a 52-kill trip. And a pretty fruitful one at that, in my humble opinion. Let's add up the loot that we got, you know. Pretty decent. We got some grimy dwarf weeds, two brimstone keys, just over half a mil. Not too bad. And when you add in the chain skirts, it goes up to a humble 59 mil. So 
Not too bad. I've never seen a back-to-back -back drop at God Wars Dungeon, and I honestly wager that I will not again because that is the most ridiculous thing that I've seen in a very long time on RuneScape, and I will absolutely take it. I think the devs are trying to make me enjoy doing Kriara so that I will spread propaganda around and let you all know, wow, Kriara is such a fun boss, even though maybe secretly it's not. But because of that loot, I love Kriara. Great boss. 10 out of 10. I just felt like doing some Vardorvis, and the nice thing about Vardorvis is that you basically profit combat potions, because, like, look how many supply drops I got this trip. I'll just do a quick... I mean, I don't think any of you want to actually read through the chat, but basically I got six... Maybe seven supply drops this trip, three of them back to back. It's a little ridiculous sometimes, but we'll take it. All right, 1,100 kill count at Vard, and of course we get a beautiful Onyx Bolt drop, nearly 800k. Oh, I love the loot from this boss. Even though it's not always, like, the best, it's still, you just get the kills so fast that it's amazing. Yay, more blood runes. I mean, a blood quartz. Let's see, we'll turn it in after this trip and we'll get blood runes. We... We're going to get blood runes. All right, let's see what we get. Blood quartz in the chest. Oh, wow, it's actually not blood runes. It's a hundred tuna potatoes. And I actually got a comment last time because I was saying this was a troll drop, but they said it was actually worth a decent amount. Let's see. I mean, 93k. That's actually not that bad. So I've been getting a little bit into 150 TOA speedruns just because I really wanted to get the 1,000 kill count cape this year. And, uh, you know, I've just been slacking a little bit on the TOAs. But look at that, a new personal best. 1824 pretty speedy you know i'm getting pretty fast at these and that is 250 total kill count at toa of course the purple chance here is like one in 50 so it's really bad i don't expect to get pretty much any purples but i can do about three of these an hour uh normal runs that i do where the drop rate is much better takes like 30 minutes so i can only do two runs an hour so this is good for the uh capes but until I get a Tebow back, I'm probably not going to run actual high-level TOA. Well, 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 look where I am again, back at Whisperer, because honestly, it's just better. It's just so much better money than all the other Desert Treasure 2 bosses. It's just such good money. It is stupid. And uh, I kind of like this fight. I'm not going to lie. I really do. 567 kill count, new Shadow Quartz to add to the collection. We'll go turn that in here in a minute. And that's going to be the end of this trip. Not because I don't have supplies. As you can see, I still have five prayer restoring potions and, uh, you know, I still got my Eldritch Nightmare staff, which has proven pretty good so far. I'm not really sure if I like it more than the defense reduction of the Accursed Scepter, but I'm going to keep testing it and see how I feel now. Let me show you why I love Whisperer so much. This was one trip. It took me just over an hour and a half. And uh, let's see how much money we got. Look at that. 4.5 mil in an hour and a half. And that is just normal drops. Obviously, I didn't get any uh, worthwhile uniques money-wise. I got the Shadow Quartz, which I could turn in for some more money. also nabbed a Medium Clue Scroll, which is pretty nifty. Uh, this boss is nuts. I looked at the wiki. They actually have the GP per kill rates. And if you get a perfect kill every time and you include the value of the Bellator Vestige, I'm not going to include the value of the Siren Staff because I don't think I'm going to end up making a perfect amount of Soul Reaper access. Anyways, 400,000 gold per kill. And I get just over 20 kills per hour. So I'm making on average like 8 million gold an hour at this boss, which is nuts because Desert Treasure 2 came out over a month ago and this boss is still such good money. I love it, personally. All right, 600 kills at Whisperer. Still having a pretty good time. For this trip, I've swamped back to the Accursed Scepter. And honestly, I'm I'm still not sure which one is better. I think I'm going to go back to the uh, Nightmare Staff soon because I do like that Prayer Restoration. I can tell there's a huge difference in the trip length when you get the Prayer Restoration from that staff. It is pretty nuts, and I don't really notice a huge difference in the kills where I do hit my Accursed Scepter spec and the ones that I don't. Finally orb and they're down to 1.6 mil which is a little bit sad but it's still 1.6 mil i'm not gonna complain it has been so long since i've gotten a quiz master and i almost lost it because it spawned right as i was running up to the bank fortunately he let me talk to him as i rocked away from the bank and uh, we are going to get a mystery box and it's been so long since i've gotten one of these goodbye karim Blonde. you are not important anymore uh, i think i have some saved up in the bank let's see no i don't actually i don't have any it, it had to have been months since i've seen one of these let's open it up and see what we get hard clue scroll i mean that's pretty cool i'll take it so starting in just a few minutes my clan is hosting a bingo that i'll be participating in as a team leader which means we're going to lose extra hard this time but 
maybe just maybe we'll actually win and uh to start things off i'm gonna be doing whisper as one of the tiles the chromium ingot i'll try to put the entire bingo board on the screen right now so you guys can see and uh, i'm gonna try to keep myself motivated to do a lot of the end game content because not everybody on my team is super into things like that and uh, i'll leave some of the easier stuff for the lower level players on the team because we've got quite a diverse pool of people so i'm really excited to run this and we're over 150 dry at whisper so i'm guessing we're getting the chromium ingot soon and boom 700 kill count at whisper whisperer no drops yet but that's okay i think we did get slightly spooned on our bellator vestige here so it's okay that we're going a little bit dry but uh i'm feeling it that chromium ingot's coming soon we're not gonna have to wait too long for it well there's 750 kills at whisperer also i've started doing the thrall method where you don't freeze the boss at all and it means that you get to have thralls with you so looking at the kill times it does look like my kill times on average have gone down sometimes i would get 250s pretty frequently but now i'm getting mostly under two minutes and 30 seconds which is pretty spicy I really do hate this method though, it's like so much more intense than the regular method I was doing, so it's making me burn out on Whisperer more quickly, so I think I'm going to hop over to another piece of content here in a minute, hopefully knock out a different bingo board piece. I think this might be the first time in human history that this has happened, but Saucescape in my clan chat here got his Pharaoh Scepter and 99 strength at the same exact time because he opened a sarcophagus, which gives strength XP. So, uh, grats on that, man. World first, maybe? Well, I just did four Tombs of a Masket runs at 355. So proud of myself for not dying, except for the two deaths. We don't need to talk about that. And I have come to a conclusion. This raid makes me absolutely miserable. So we're going to go do Zolra instead. We need to get any fang from Zolra to fill out that board piece. So let's see if we could do it. Oh yeah, we're starting at exactly 7,000 kills. So let's see if we can uh, make sure to get that fang before 8,000. We'll see. Oh, you got dong? Very nice. Big grats. Yeah. Oh! Yay, finally. Who got, whose is it? Oh, not mine, though. It's not mine. It's mine. <laughs> so, would you guess it? We got a purple, and it went to the one person in our raid that was not on our bingo team, and he got a piece of Missouri, which was in the uh, master tier on the bingo, which is the most points you can get. So, uh, grats to you, Bruce. I'm still salty, though. You know, we didn't get the points because he snagged it from us. By the way, I just have to mention... First off, thank you for the 13 mil. Second off, we had three people on our team in that raid, and he's the only one that wasn't on our team in that raid. So I'm really upset about that, but I'm happy about the 13 mil. Yeah, you Speed got it. Up, you got it. Yeah, I got you this. Got These it. moves are fucking sick. You seeing this shit? Wow, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and then rolls into one. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, oh. Oh, oh he's so these? slick. He's How do you dump those? Come on. Wait, 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 wait a second. Hold on just one moment if you don't mind. I didn't even record a clip because I wasn't going to stay at Cal Fight Queen for very long. Dragon Chain Body and Dragon Two Hander are on the bingo board, and I've been here for what, four kills, maybe three kills, and we get a dragon pick, which is one in 400. Much rarer than the two hander, much rarer than the chain body, but you know, that's just how it goes sometimes, I guess. <laughs> There's 1.3 mil, that's all the dragon pick is worth? Oh, I'm sad now. Well, I wanted to eat the rest of my tub of vegan ice cream. And so you know what I did? I sat here in AFK thieving fires, and in like 30 minutes, we actually managed to get the blood shard, which doesn't give a clan broadcast, so I can't flex to people. But I can flex to myself. How much are these things worth? Whoo, almost 10 mil in 30 minutes. So I have confirmed basically that this is... 20 million gold per hour come thieve some vampires it's just so op wait if any of you have watched the collection log series recently or if you happen to remember how many thieves did it take me to get the blood shard for the last bingo because i i feel like i remember getting spooned it pretty hard on the last bingo i was in as well so uh i might just have some really good luck on these things and you know what actually we're just gonna throw these straight into my blood fury because look it only has 760 charges left so let's go ahead and just charge it out 20k free blood fury charges you know what i almost feel like an iron man right now hey there what's up you're uh listening to a man with over a hundred winter taunt permits and you know what that means that means we're gonna get out our small fishing net which we don't have we're actually gonna talk to this creep right here and we're gonna fish these up uh the tile that we're going for is the tome of water which is like a one in 1600 not great odds, but I also still need the pet here, so you never know what can happen. The suspense is killing me. Only five more loots, please. Just just show it to me. Tome of Water or Tiny Tempor. Come on. You know you want to. Last one. It's going to be a banger. It was it was planks. Okay, well, that was a total waste of time. Uh, you know, I'm very, 
very unlucky at the Temperos log, as you can see. So it was totally deserved to get something. Uh, we did roll Tackle Box or Fish Barrel. We got 25 soaked pages. But I do have to finish editing this video. So, uh, you know, I guess we'll just keep doing Temperos. It's pretty chill. All right, I got 60 more permits while editing a video. Will this finally be the one? Yeah, no, no. We did get soaked pages a couple times, which is nifty, but no. And here's my next AFK thing that I will do when I just need to chill. We need a leaf bladed battle axe for one of the bingo tiles and Kuresks are extremely AFK, especially with the NPC aggression plugin. It'll tell you how long they're still aggressive and I can pretty much just walk away for 10 minutes. You know, if I'm sitting here, I'll still click to speed it up just a bit, but yeah, this is going to be nice. It's like one in 1000 though for the stupid battle axe. So we'll see how long that takes. So I just ran a super clean 375 rate and I'm going to try to up it up to 400. With dehydration, uh, it's a little bit scary because I cannot use bruise at all, but if I just use a bunch of super stores and the Karis Partisan, it should be fine. I really want to start slowly working my way up the raid levels again. I remember I used to be able to almost do 450s and 500s, and now I'm just so much worse at TOA than I used to be because I took a long break, so let's get it. A very clean 400. I'm really proud of that, actually. I used dehydration and everything, so I could not... Uh, Heal with anything except the Karis Partisan, but it went really smoothly. I'm, like, incredibly proud of myself, actually. And a 9.29% purple chance. That's so good. It's like 1 in 11. That is absolutely juicy. So we'll do the slow walk because it has been a really long time since I've gotten my own personal purple, which obviously means that we're getting a white light, but maybe a dupe pet? Maybe? Oh, an elite clue. That's good. Oh, hey, look, some of the raid mates got a new personal best at TOA. Congrats. I wonder if they got a purple. Oh, <laughs> yeah, congrats on the Tumacans Shadow Man. 19 kill count, all normal mode Toa, and he's got a Tumacans. What an absolute legend. Oh, and he died at P1 Warden as well. What an amazing game. I love this. You know what? I'm feeling really confident with TOA right now, so I'm going to go for a 450 run. To try to unlock one of those transmogs, I think you can only get one per run, so even if I do get someone to level 4 and complete it, I'll only get one. I'll at least get the Warden's one, even if none of them get leveled up to 4, because with this 450 setup, uh, I only have Path Seeker on, so all the paths only get leveled up once, so the only way anyone's getting to level 4 is if all three of the upgrades from Walk the Path roll one boss, which is unlikely, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to try to complete my first 450. Hopefully it works. Oh, yes, let's go. We actually did it. 450. I can't believe that that worked. My supplies were so bad. My Baba and Kefri were actually the worst I've ever done in my entire life. So we are guaranteed a kit. I don't think I got any of the bosses up to four, so it's just going to be a Warden's kit. But do we also get a purple? It's almost a 12% chance. That's really, really good. I'm not going to complain if we don't because we're guaranteed a collection log slot, but I'm just really proud of myself, honestly. Do we see it? No, we don't, but can we get that uh, Warden Transmog? Pretty, pretty, please. Oh, it looks so good. The Ancient Remnant and almost a one mil loot. Whoo, my heart was pounding there at the end. The prayer situation was so bad. Well, there's our first 450 solo without a death. I may have succeeded one with a death. I don't remember. Either way, I'm just working my way up to 500s now. Oh my god, I feel so good about that run, seriously. All right, let's go ahead and add this to the Elidinus Guardian. Oh, wait, maybe I have to have a drop to add it. Add it there. Congratulations, you've unlocked a new metamorphosis option. Let's do it. It should be the... And I don't know which one of this. I think it's the damaged guardians. Yeah, look at them. They float. It's so cool looking. I actually really like this transmog. Now, of course, the other boss ones look way cooler because you can have a beetle rolling on poop or like a big alligator. But I still do love this one. And I am really proud that we got that collection log slot. And honestly, that's just made me 10 times more confident for TOA because, like I said, that situation there at the end was so bad. But the fact that I still managed to pull it off. I feel good about myself right now. Wow, I just did a level 5 Zebek. I'm going for a 500 run right now. I didn't want to say anything because I'm probably going to fail this, let's be honest. But wow, level 5 Zebek. That was hard and we got a combat achievement rocking around the croc. I don't know what it's for. Oh my god, I just realized I did that whole Zebek fight unsalted. What is wrong with me? <laughs> okay, somehow I am past Akka. I am sweating so much right now. My heart is just going ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum uh, I think I'm going to take life for the extra restores, although power would be really nice to get an extra liquid adren, but 
I think I'm going to need the restores. I'm going to be camping Augury the entire time in the Warden's fight. So here we go. Warden's time on a 500. I'm really excited. If I don't get it, I won't be too disappointed because this is just insane that I even made it here. And if I get it, I'll be so damn happy. Oh my god. Oh my god, we actually did it. First try. First try today. 500 TOA with a 15% unique chance. Oh my god, dude. I'm so happy. You have no idea how happy I am. We're gonna do the slow walk up to the chest. Oh my god, dude. This can't be real. This just cannot be real. And the grand reveal. It's white, obviously. It's always gonna be white, but oh my god. Here we go. Here we go. Two collection log slots, the Curse Phalanx and the Remnant of Zabok. I'm so glad I got the Zabok one. Oh, that's so good. God, I'm such a gamer right now. Okay, I am finally not a plebeian normal fang haver anymore. Let's throw the cursed phalanx onto our fang. You carefully attach the phalanx to the fang. Its bony structure expands, completely overtaking the weapon. Look at it! Oh, it looks so good. I'm so glad that I ended up doing this solo. I was tempted to go on teams because team 500s are just infinitely easier now still nobody has to die which makes it quite difficult still but they are just so 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 much easier in fact there is a way to get carried through it that i have heard about but i'm glad i did this my own way because oh my god that fang looks so good the other fang it kind of looks okay this looks absolutely incredible and we got two new collection log slots there the z back transmog and of course the cursed phalanx which is right here oh my gosh i don't know if you can tell I'm a little bit happy about this, and I'm kind of proud of myself. So all we need now is the Kefri, the Baba, and the Akka Transmog, which I think will be a lot easier than the Zabok ones, because holy crap, that level 5 Zabok was absolutely insane. I still can't believe I pulled that off with the Shadow. I am not doing this again until I get a Twisted Bow back, that's for sure. And of course, now we got to check out that Zabok Transmog. Let's throw it into the Elidinus Damage Guardian. And metamorphize size into Zebo. Oh, it's so. Can you get the hell out of here, Captain Rev? I'm having a moment here. Do they have unique dialogue? Oh, they do. Feed me. That's quite demanding, but sure. What would you like? I demand sustenance. I might have some cooked lobster somewhere. Maybe a ceridome and brew. Food. You really have a one track mind, don't you? Hungry. All right, I want to go see if we can actually feed this guy something. All right, Zebo, here's a shark, buddy. Nothing interesting happens. Are you kidding me, Jagex? Absolutely horrible game. I'm actually going to unsubscribe. Piece of garbage. Yeah, I don't know what came over me today. I wasn't even super nervous or shaky at the Wardens during that 500 run. Usually my hands start shaking and I start getting like heart palpitations. But just today I just had this nice inner peace and I was able to just stay calm and focus. And I don't know what it is, but I'm feeling really good about it. So I think I'm going to keep pushing high invo TOAs in the near future. We do still need a couple more items, obviously. And then the trans mogs maybe we'll go for those soon as well but yeah that's for the next video we still got to get the fang and a piece of misori for the bingo and i think we're going to do just that right at the start so thank you all so much for watching i truly hope you enjoyed the video and i also hope you have a fantastic day i'll hope you have an even more fantastic day if you press the like button because that like lets me eat and stuff which is pretty cool and i do appreciate that so i'll see you next time goodbye mm -hmm.